Welcome to HeroQuest fans. It is Saturday night. We are live on twitch.tv slash HeroQuest fans. If you're watching this on YouTube, sorry, this is just a replay, not live. But if you're watching us live, you're always welcome to join us. In the Twitch chat, you can participate using your gold coins during the quest. If you're not controlling a hero, you can use those gold coins to cash in various rewards. You can buy potions for the good guys. You can buy monsters for the bad guys. Whatever you like. And we'll incorporate it into the quest. We are playing Hero Quest tonight, as we have been doing. We've been playing Rise of the Dread Moon. And we've got five, count them, five hero slots open. A couple people have told me they'll be joining shortly. Shout out to Carl Casey at White Bad Audio for the music we've been listening to on YouTube. Check him out. Good stuff. And, um... So, what, the way we've been doing it thus far is on Fridays we've been playing Mage of the Mirror. And we've been doing that 2 p.m. Central Standard Time until we kind of get tired. It typically ends up being about four hours. But the thing I want people to understand is if you're joining us, you're not committing to four hours of gaming. You can show up midstream and join us. There's almost always a spot open. It's pretty rare that we get exactly four people like for the whole the whole stream. And if you got to leave early, we understand everybody's got different schedules. So, we're pretty flexible. <laughs> well, the thing is, the way it's supposed to work is that you can swing by our stream, you can have it going in the background. It doesn't matter. I mean, if you want to just drive by cash something in and then leave or just have it as background music we understand washing the dishes doing some painting <laughs> if you can get away with that at work I mean don't get in trouble on our account of course um, but yeah we're happy to have you thanks for your support all right so I was thinking uh, while we're waiting we could always um, I mean it is season of October you know Halloween's coming up we could always do some game book readings like we did in the past while we wait for Hero Quest to start. But uh, if you want, just join us in Quest Talk. You want to go to our Hero Quest fans Discord channel, and once you're there, you can, there's a voice channel that you can join. Uh, you can use your microphone; it's a lot easier than typing, and we can play Hero Quest together. We have virtual dice thanks to Ribby, which are pretty easy to use. Roll those dice on screen, so you really don't need anything. I mean, pencil and paper is helpful to keep track of your stats and stuff. As Argon, I try to keep track of all that stuff, and it's a lot easier if people have their own character sheets. A piece of paper and pencil helps a lot. If you're not familiar with HeroQuest, we'll get you up to speed. Uh, it's pretty simple. So let's see who we've got tonight. So Xerxes, Joe Kosher, Wardicon. Bohemia said he'd be joining. Ribby would be joining later. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, welcome, sir. How you doing? Ah, doing fine. I feel like I have my voice back. Now it's just in time for it to be uh, hot and dry as they turn the heat up in my building, so I'll do my best to keep it all going. And we have this new addition, so Ribby threw this together for me at uh, short notice. Um, if someone cashes in that reward to change the color of the dice, we can get a color yes. change. So, throw awesome. more, more chaos. <laughs> into the mix because you know it, it might help you or it might hurt you or it might be on the bad guy's turn and you know just, uh, change change things i don't care make the game more exciting yeah <laughs> always always trying to do that Xerxes says uh, at work plane i'm jealous i'm on a phone watching can the chat work yeah, so we've been implementing a couple of different things to try to get uh, some more stuff. Okay, there's the chat on screen. I guess it's not perfectly easy to read, but something. And I can probably move that Discord box to a different corner. I wish there was like a pop-out function that would be a little bit easier to read but I'm always open to suggestions if people know how to do things that I don't know how to do and you can show me to improve things I'm all about that 
All right. So when we last left our heroes, they had cleared out the monsters, at least for the moment. And we've got an elf in this room here. Of course, a lot of these areas are flooded with water. There's ancient waterways within. So this whole room is flooded with water. As are these corridors here surrounding the big room. And there's a few other areas that are full of water as well. So this corridor where they came in. Oh, now i got to turn it off again. Uh, so this starting corridor through this door, that's full of water. It's rushing water. And what happens is when you're in that water, you got to roll two red dice. And if it comes up doubles, then you're going to get dragged half of that distance towards one of these pits. These pits can be seen without searching, but they function just as a regular pit. It's like a drain you get sucked in. Now there are some safe rooms. So these two rooms here were nice and dry. They're safe. This room here is nice and dry, as is that northern double corridor. So the elf is still in the wet room. We've got a barbarian out here in the hall. We've got a wizard. We've got a dwarf. And we've got a monk. But I'm open to uh, what heroes that you want to play as. So Bohemius is here first. He gets first pick. I also see Jacer there. I'm going to continue with the, with the wizard. All right. Well, I'll warn you. The wizard's down to one body point. But otherwise... I know, I know. <laughs> you need uh, a little uh, refresher on what he's got as far as his stuff. Um, I got everything, but yes. Okay. Let's right. do it. Just for the record here, so the spells he's used, he's used Pass Through Rock, Tempest, Ball of Flame, Courage, Heal Body, Fire of Wrath. So that means he's got... Uh, Genie and Swift Wind, nothing else. Yeah, the two two air spells. <laughs> yep. And he's got the uh, dagger, staff, and a cloak. That's one attack, including diagonal. He can throw the dagger and it's gone. His overall defense is three. And he has the skill of keen hearing. And also alertness is what I have down. I used the keen earring last week. Oh, that's about right. two weeks ago. That's right, two weeks ago. Yeah, remember it just like it was yesterday. <laughs> okay, but alertness you still have, right? Yes. Okay, let me make sure I've got that card ready. Yeah, it's been an interesting challenge flipping between the two campaigns. But yeah, this was to kind of see if uh, if we can make it through without necessarily having everybody stocked up with all their stuff. Plus, it's like, what do you do if somebody dies in one campaign but not in the other? <laughs> Teleportation. All right, so we got that. And then as far as your gold, you got 215 coins. And for potions, I have... Healing 1d6, Holy Water, Alchemy, Magical Aptitude. Did I miss anything? No, everything picked out. All right. I just, no. I'm always expecting someone to say, well, uh, I had a plasma rifle, don't you remember? <laughs> oh, yes, of course, I had a plasma rifle and a yeah. melt gun. Just, just what you see here, pal. <laughs> yeah, I got a tarantula in my back pocket. Like, okay, that crossover will happen, just not, uh, not this week. <laughs> okay, all right. And uh, as far as the other heroes, do you want to take control of any others, or should we? Oh, Jacer says I could draft the monk. Okay, well, if Jacer's going to be here, I guess we can. Oh, there he is. Welcome, Jacer. Thank you. All right. So, Jay, sir, who would you like? We've got we've got one for the wizard. Yeah, I'd go with the monk. I have that one written down. All right. Um, 
And I have the dwarf written down. Dwarf, okay. All right, and in fact, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you were the dwarf and the monk last time. Yes. Okay. So just for the record, though, I'll still go over it. So the monk is down to five body points. Yep. Has, is unarmed, of course. Crossbow, short sword, nunchucks. Yes. And he has one skill, the rallying cry. Yep. 100 gold. Yep. And three potions. A potion of healing, plus two, a warmth, and a wolf's bane. Exactly. Sounds good. And... The dwarf has broadsword, helmet, a hundred gold, mighty blow, fancy footwork, three body points, and one potion of healing plus four. Okay, uh, the fancy footwork you're referring to. Let's see. Uh, I have. Let's see. Mighty blow. Uh, okay, so he doesn't have well, dodge and Maybe it's something stuff. else. I don't know. No, no, you're right. It's called footwork. I thought it was fancy. It, okay. Yeah, footwork, mighty blow, oh. but then heroic charge and dodge and trip. Used up. Used up. Dodge and trip was used. That's right. And I also used the silver key, the potion of dexterity, and I made a plus two something. Yeah, I crossed it out. Okay. I oh, have... and I also have a battle axe. Yeah, I was just going to say, you have a battle axe. Okay. And a helmet. If I didn't say the helmet. Yep. He's got a helmet okay. on his noggin. Okay, so I think what we'll do this time, just like we've done in the past, is we will just kind of like put little markers for the heroes that aren't here yet, just so that you guys aren't controlling so many heroes, because it really makes the turns go too long. So we'll take the wizard and the barbarian out temporarily. Uh, I thought the wizard was playing. Uh, elf and barbarian, sorry. Yeah, the wizard is playing. Uh, well, I'm doing two. Oh, Bohemian. Yeah, do all right. Wanna, do you want to do a second? Yeah, there's one another. Second hero. Take a bodyguard for the wizard. Uh, I don't. Uh, I uh, I heard that uh, Ribi is coming, right? So the barbarians coming soon. <laughs> okay. We, I... Yeah. I mean, I understand if if anybody doesn't want to control more than one. Um, we can always you know, we can always give it to them. I, I think it would be more fun if more people join. <laughs> Yeah, well, so, it, it's like it, it's a pickup game every week, so we do what we can. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, no, no. I mean, I invite, I invite everyone to to come and play. It's fun. Yeah, yeah. Spread the word. We appreciate it. I mean, some people only play with their friends. I like to make friends as we play. <laughs> That's how I kind of look at it. All right, cool. Okay, so uh, turn order. At the present time, we have the wizard first. Do you guys want to keep doing that for now, or change it up? Yes. Okay. All right, so we'll just get the barbarian out for now, and the elf out for now. Okay, and then as far as the monk goes, it looks like he's only used one of his uh, styles, but since there's no monsters at the beginning of his turn, he's gonna have them all reset anyway. All right, let me put the dice uh, thing back on screen and we can begin with the wizard. So we didn't open yet the, uh, the door, right? So let me... Well, I can move 12, right? Yeah, so, no monsters on the board, going so... to. Yep. I'm going to open uh, the secret door. Two, 
opening the secret door. Bing. Revealing the room. Oh yeah, and there was a question there. What does the color change dice do? So that means the next... If somebody cashes that in, we're going to roll a, a die, which will pick a color. And so the next combat die roll, whatever it is, so it could be a hero, it could be a monster, is going to be that color. That's what it does. Okay. A different outcome in the dice. Right. All right. So the room is revealed. And you see an alchemist bench. Oh, that's a sorcerer's table. Excuse me. I'm not as used to the elven furniture. Okay, there's the alchemist bench and another treasure chest. Ah. Chaos Warrior has been recruited. All right. Uh oh. Another bonus monster. Excellent. Somebody doesn't want peace. <laughs> okay. The room is revealed. What will you do? Heroes are lonely. <laughs> oh, All monsters inside? One more thing. And there's the door. Not yet, apparently. Okay. Not yet. So I step in. Right. And uh, search for traps. Okay, you search for traps, and no traps are detected. Okay, that's my turn. All right. All right um, One second, Jason. Hold on. Sorry. No problem. Go ahead. Um, the dwarf, uh, I guess, put in front of the closed door there and search that room for secret doors. Okay. All right, you search for secret doors. And there are no secret doors. All right. Um, we'll go and move between the wizard and the dwarf and search for treasure. All right. So the monk searches for treasure. And the chest contains two things. A swift wind spell scroll. And a potion of unforeseen fate. Something we haven't seen before. So let me just grab that here. I believe it's just uh, means if you decide to use it, it's just a random draw of the alchemy deck. So it's one of these. Okay. There we go. Color of the brew is ever changing. Drink this potion to draw one random card from the alchemy deck. The effects of the card you draw are immediately activated. Well, the fact that they're immediately activated is interesting. It's not just that you get it, you also use it right away. So, potion of unforeseen fate. And then the swift wind scroll is just like regular swift wind. Okay, so that goes to the monk. All right. Um, does the and the wizard has he has a healing potion or something, right? One. Yes. Okay. All right. So you have one. The dwarf has one, and the monk has two. All right. 
That ends my turn. All right. Another benefit of not having your monsters out immediately. Tripped. You trip over a loose tile and break one of your potions. Randomly pick a hero. The hero must discard one potion at random. Well, that'll be kind of interesting if I take it absolutely literally. So that's the monk. And I'm going to say, just for fun, even though it says random, I'm going to choose to force him to use one of those potions. Uh, the, the unforeseen fate like it immediately activates rather than it just being destroyed alright <laughs> it's Argon's Fiat alright so shuffling the alchemy deck here yeah if it's the Grog that's the bad one well, it's all right. I was going to give it to the wizard as a, a Hail Mary in case he died, but... <laughs> It'd be funny, though, if you, drinking the grog turned you into an ogre. That would be interesting. All right. So you drop the potion, and it, like, splashes. <laughs> and what is it? Oh, it's a potion of speed. Okay, so all of a sudden, without realizing it, you've triggered double movement. Okay, so the next time he moves, the Wandering Monk gets uh, double movement. Okay. Or X double he got a, he got, so it ended up being double Swift Wind, basically. <laughs> yeah. So they got Swift Wind spell scroll, and I got a potion of speed. We have all eight dice. <laughs> yep, sure could. Okay, hero's turn. Wizard? Yeah, the, can I search the uh, alchemy table for a potion as a wizard? Ah, well, uh, yes. Yes, you can. Let's do that. All right. <laughs> Fire resistance. Oh. Then I'm going to... A red glass bottle of yeah. yellow pits. If you drink the potion, you'll be completely unharmed by the next magical <sighs> fire attack to hit you, be it a spell or a fire burst. Okay, what were you going to do? Open the door. Oh, one, two. And then open the door. Alright, revealing the room. The green room. Mordecai says, thinking of Judas Priest, drinking the grog, drinking the grog. Okay, as you open the door, you see flowing water everywhere. Another wet room. There's a door here. And you spot a drain in the center of the room, one of these nasty drains. And you also spot, uh, it's hard to miss them, as they rise out of the stinking water. A couple of these abominations. I did my job. And I'll stay in the corner there. Okay, so you're gonna move to the corner. Yes, stay there. <laughs> that wizard always triggering. I already, <laughs> I, I, yes, I already uh, searched, so I cannot attack, right? Correct. Yeah, he's like the he's like the the hunting dog that finds the bear and leads the bear back to the hunter. It's like, <laughs> thanks a lot, old pal. <laughs> Look, guys, trouble. Help! Uh, Help! <laughs> All right. I did it again! Good dwarf. Ah, Wardicon heard that. 
What? Only two? Okay, so he's got an equipment draw for whoever. Always bringing the weapons. Weapons and armor. Let's see what it is. Equipment. It's a torch! Uh oh. Alright, so whoever whoever wants the torch can have it. That'll let you avoid hazards when you're searching for treasure. <laughs> Bring in some pain. I think it Jace. I can use it, right? Yeah, it, any any of you can use it. So Jacer, who should the torch go to? I think you might be muted, Jacer. Uh, I'm gonna take it. Okay, so the wizard takes the torch. In case somebody needs it, I'll give it later. Alright. Okay. As you're standing there thinking of what to do, another abomination rises out of the drain. Roll first. Right. Nine. Heck. Alright. So and one skull. Dwarf launched an attack with the battle axe. Okay. Alright. Abomination responds. That's a hit. Monster rears back in pain, but still alive. Ah, Mordecai has given you a name, wizard. You are Bohemius Lightbringer. Thank you. Excellent. The elf's name is Flush Ferguson, but he's, he's uh, taking a taking a break. <laughs> All right, dwarf. Is that it? We're switching to monk. Well, um, well, I'm gonna go and have him move two spaces to the right. Hang out there for a second or two. Okay. And then. We'll move the the monk over one, and go with the earth technique, I think. And the uh, uh, this is the the big punch. The mighty, yeah. Yeah. We'll do that one. Okay, so that would be four dice. One skull. And two. Oh, no, two skulls. <laughs> yeah. All right. I was just saying, wait, wait, am I looking at the wrong one? <laughs> looking at the previous. Okay, nothing. Got him. Pow. Okay. Down he goes. They're down. She goes into the water, sinking into the sludge. And as that happened, uh, out of the out of the drain crawled a, a goblin and a zombie. <laughs> okay, my turn. Yes, it is. <laughs> weak, weak. Well, I do them randomly, so you know, no polar war bears yet. Swamp, swamp werebears or something like that. 
Okay. Let's just move the abomination forward. One, two, three, four, five. Abomination attacks. Tap Earth to show it's been used. Okay, one skull. <laughs> Swampy Ewoks. Cha -ching! No damage. These other monsters are going to kind of move around. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. All right, hero's turn. We'll attack diagonally. Yep, you can attack diagonally with the staff. One die. Ah, oh, black die. Black shield. Nice. <laughs> See, I always recommend the T uh, get the little blue uh, chalk square and kind of chalk up the edge of the staff before he uses it. So maybe remember that next time. <laughs> no uh, I don't move. I stay okay. there. Okay. Alright, Dwarf. I do want to remind that there is a bonus treasure search left over that someone could use if they wanted. Thanks to our friend Wardicon. I'll have the, the Dwarf use it then. Mysterious flower, you uncover a rare and lovely elven plant that you know to be edible. Consume at any time to restore one lost body point. It can also be used as a reagent to craft one potion of dexterity or one potion of defense. Now as it turns out no one has a reagent kit, but the wizard, in a room with an alchemist bench, can do it for free if he has this. So mysterious flower. Sorry, do you need to see all that yep. info again? And no, all the other, and all the other reagents are being held by the barbarian, right? Let's see here. Good point, actually. He's got a mysterious flower, a sacred plant. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, dwarf got an eleven. So I'm gonna walk over there and hand the reagent to the wizard and then walk back to the spot he's in and hang out there so if the wizard wants to come behind him in a safer spot he can do alchemy or whatever yep because as far as I understand it it um, doesn't really matter if there's monsters in the room or not he can just walk right up to it and just start cashing stuff in as many as he wants <laughs> Yeah, I know, but it'd be easier if... He's not getting attacked. <laughs> yeah, or if I could just have one on each side. Like I said, if it doesn't matter, one monster can come in, so at least we can attack one monster with two attacks, or even three, with the right diagonal. Yeah. I'm trying to figure it out, but I know the alchemist bench takes up a lot of space. It does. So where, do you, where did you want the dwarf to end up? I just kind of put him on the secret door is that oh right? no yeah no the same spot that's what you wanted okay that way yeah that way you got both doors blocked we the uh, we did our feet of empire any diagonal uh, attack and move with the monk without the uh wizard getting an attack so yeah the dwarf does not I'm have any right diagonal there. attacks no i don't understand yeah. you cannot attack because i'm there the dwarf just can't get in. 
I'd have to move the monk. And if I'm after I move the monk, it's their turn. So I can't move okay. the monk unless there's a spot for the monsters to go. And I'd rather funnel the monsters in the corner than towards the secret door. But the only spot is where the wizard's standing. I didn't notice that, sorry. Oh no, it's okay. Um, if you can get to the other side, I, I don't know, like I said, I'll, I'm still working on it, but... There's a yeah, turn of reagent into a... You don't, you don't have a diagonal with the, with the dwarf. Yeah, he has a battle axe and a broadsword, so yeah, no dog. I get it. No, I get it. But I think the monk, the monk has nunchucks. I think they might be diagonal. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So I, I have to eventually get the monk to where the, the wizard is to get the dwarf to the door, so that the wizard can then get on the other side of the door. Sure. But now you have reagent to work on, so you can get uh. A potion out of the deal. Yeah, I think I'm going to hold uh, on that because you give me a, a body point uh, right now. <laughs> yes, right. oh, that's true too. But uh, when the but the barbarian has other reagents, and I think yes, one of them can make we can a do the other potion. Yeah, I think one does a healing. <laughs> No matter what game plan, wow, wow, the wizard is going down to Xerxes. No. We'll see. Well, I hope not, but... He, he gets knocked down, but he gets back up again. You're never going to keep him down. All right. Okay, so, Monk, <laughs> foresee the future. All right, the Eye of the Storm. All right. Uh, the only one he really is going to hit is the Abomination. Okay. Yep, so he attacks in all directions and happens to hit the <laughs> monster in front of him. Okay, so that's two. Oh, double Wait, shield. But he missed. Yep, another miss. He did the old, the old uh, kick to the face, where it's just like a, an inch from his face, and then the wind like blows back from the, <laughs> but it doesn't actually do anything. It's like, ooh, all the monsters are like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Stay put. Yeah, he's gotta stay. All right, absorb the damage. Okay. See the abomination. All right, I'm gonna move the other monsters closer. All right, I'm gonna attempt a villainous feat. So the Abomination is going to try to push the monk back. If he succeeds, he's going to push the monk back one square. Or can he with that furniture in the way? I guess he'd be pushing him to the side. All right. A skull would mean success. Success. Okay. Shoves him to the side. All right. So then, let's see. Kind of cheap. Yeah, it is. But I guess I still... It didn't really improve my situation. All I'm doing is just moving a monster into the room. Because they can't attack diagonally. Okay, so he comes into the room. And to try to attack the wizard. Can I use an uncommon feat to try to use my wellspring anyway? Um, I know it's not an instance of damage because you're using a push. So I can't really block it. But you did roll a skull. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see. It would be to resist damage. It's not really damage, though. 
I know. Well, I actually thought your your Famir was going to attack and then move, and then maybe somebody else was going to try a trick. But <laughs> I didn't think yeah. it was just going to be the Famir. Just coming into the room. Well, yep. if you want to try an uncommon feat to shove him backwards, <laughs> I'll let you attempt All right, that. or hold him back. Yeah, but it won't be a tug of war. I guess otherwise it'd just go back and forth. Just, we'll just keep rolling dice all night until <laughs> someone gives up. So. All right. Well. Nope, I didn't get a skull. You tried, but you couldn't. Yep. So you were like... You you had your you had your hands on the on the uh, the monk's back, but he just kind of like kept going and pushed it pushed to the sides. It's like ah oh, darn it. Okay, attacking the wizard. Yep. Okay, so I rolled my two skulls and wizard. Uh, we got to defend with three. Ching. And a hit. Uh oh. Wizards going down. They called it. Does he have a healing to save? Good himself? thing, Jay. Jay's just give me a, an ingredient here. One hit point back. Okay. Do you want to use that instead of your? I use that. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. So the. Mysterious flower. It's very tasty and it uh, brings you back from the brink. Okay, so I'm not supposed to return this card to the deck until the end of the quest. Just remember that. Alright, my other monsters, let's see here. Move the goblin forward. All right, hero's turn. This um, this abomination is full of life. Is yes. It's two body points, right? Yep. Ah, uh, well, I'm going to try to get out of this situation. I'm going to use genie. Ah. On the abomination. All right, five dice. Thank you, Xerxes. Need the elf to plunge that monster clog. <laughs> Boo! Wow. Okay, can't get much better than that. Okay, I will. Oh, instant kill. Because <laughs> try as he might, he's not gonna get anything. So she, I guess this, I consider this the, I keep saying he, but I, I feel like those might be like egg sacs or something. Anyway, you, you blew up the abomination with the genie. Yep. Shaquille O'Neal appeared wearing a ridiculous outfit and he like crumpled the monster into like a really like cartoonish ball and like dunked it into a basket. <laughs> Yep. Well done. Okay, so now you just have to. And then I'm going, yeah, uh, to roll for movement. Nine. I'm going behind the uh, dwarf. Room. The same room, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, in the... Sorry. <laughs> in my point of view. Uh, north to the to the dwarf. Ah, okay. Yeah. What I say what I say behind is because the the uh, the dwarf is oh, looking uh, at me. So the way he's oriented, <laughs> the actual figure. Yeah. Yeah. I, I the way he's oriented. Good point. Good call. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's one weakness of having one person move all the pieces for everyone else. Okay. All right. Dwarf. 
Hey, wizard, come back to the party, said Xerxes. Well, the dwarf is deciding what to do. Uh, he's just going to move tomb, over to an attack. Tomb slides open. And out comes a zombie. But it's a neat zombie who puts the lid back on. Okay. Perhaps in life it was the cleaning lady. Alright, so you're gonna move two to the side and attack. Attacking the goblin. Yep. Pick on someone your own size. One skull. One. So there's you're saying there's a chance. Whoops. Ah. No, they only defend with one. Just ignore that. And it's a death. It sucked down the drain. All right, monk. Four. Four. All right, so the monk's going to use the flooding waters. All right. So he's going to go two spaces in, make an attack, and then two spaces back out. Nice. Okay, so you can split action and movement. Right. Uh, I'm going to okay. go with the, the, mum, uh, the mummy. No, it's a zombie. Oh, a zombie. A zombie, all right. Yeah, since there's no mummy, you wasted your attack, and the advantage is mine. No, kidding. Not that kind of a GM. Okay. One. One skull. Let's see what the zombie can do. Got her. <laughs> Suck down the drain. <laughs> Xerxes says, look, I found a really neat wand in the drain for the wizard. Come on back. <laughs> He's trying to trick you. Don't listen to him. All right, and so then you were going to step back into the room? Yep, and then to the left. Yeah. Okay. All right. My turn. All right, the abomination attacks the dwarf. One skull. And I failed the block. It's a hit. I'm down to uh, two. Yep. All right, the zombie is going to start moving. Okay, I always got to check how many squares the zombie moves. Is it five or six? Five. Skeleton six. Uh, and the mummy's four. The more flesh they have, the slower they move. Six. Yep. Five. Four. Okay. And the greens go six, eight, ten, and the undead go four, five, six. One of these days, I'll have it. I'll have it down. Okay. That's why it, it always messes me up with the Chaos Warriors being seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some of the monsters were slower in the original EU version. All right. It's Hero's turn. I'm going to move uh, 
to square, close to the door, and attack diagonally there. Double elimination. Alright. With my mighty staff. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Get a good roll with that weapon, and it always means so much more. Never, never. I never get that good, oh, <laughs> good roll, ever. <laughs> Anya, you gotta use the chalk first. You can't just, like, go in there dry. Okay. <laughs> Alright, you missed. Alright. Dwarf. I know you can't see him behind the door, but he's there. Switch cameras. One in a wrestling move. Oh. Okay, well, let's see if I get a wrestling move in return. No. <laughs> okay, so um, should I pick a card? Yes, you should. All right. Let's see what the Mighty Dwarf does against. The Mighty Dwarf. Indeed. Ankle lock. Very appropriate. <laughs> he grabbed <laughs> grabbed his ankle. Ah! Ah! <laughs> he's tapping. He's tapping. But there's no referee, so. But he's he's able to slip slip out, but not before uh, the damage was done. Well, he also had one skull that you didn't block. Oh no! <laughs> he's back in it. He's back in it, folks. And now he really is tapping out. Ding ding ding! He gets sucked down the drain. Yeah, I forgot he didn't he didn't defend any of that. <laughs> Needless to say, got him. Drown the fish. It's a toothpick. Wait for it. Missed. <laughs> Weak sauce. I smell a zombie coming in my way. The wind must have shifted. Okay, well, um, I was going to say um, he would have earned fire, but there's no more monsters at the start of his turn. Yep. So we reset his abilities here. Yep. Resets, uh, rolls for movement, eight. No drain, no pain. <laughs> Okay, I rolled doubles, but I'm not in the water room yet. True. So, I mean, I go in, I can still move, and then I just roll again to see if it affects me? Exactly. Okay, Mordecai okay. just cashed in uh, another skill card. Parry and repost. He says to whoever, so who wants it. So that lets you nullify the damage and immediately follow up with a return attack. And your opponent defends with one less. That's pretty good. The, uh, the dwarf could use that. What does the footwork do? Okay, footwork... Makes you difficult to strike. You can roll two extra defense dice until the end of the okay. turn. Okay. All right. And the parry lets you get that completely. And the counter attack. All right. Yeah, I was going to say the dwarf's getting uh, quite a repertoire of skills here. Yeah. Alright, um... So the... Monk is gonna go to the closed door in the green room. And check the drain. Five, I'm safe from the drain. 
roll doubles. No, the the monk. Oh, whoops. the dwarf. The dwarf already went. Yeah, good point. I need to pay attention. Okay. And he's going to the door to the left. The monk was too humble to say anything, even though the dwarf uh, went out in front of him. Okay, and then and then you're going towards the towards the door. Yeah. And I'll search for secret doors. Okay, there are no secret doors. All right. Oh, yeah. All right, your turn. Okay. Mr. Zombie. Zombie advances. One, two, three, four, five. All right, hero's turn. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. I don't have much power. I'm going to move two square to the left. got a seven so he's going to move three spaces to the right and attack all right confronting the undead there three Got her. Right. All right. And the monk will search for treasure. All right. Monk searches for treasure. Ah. An unidentified ingredient. A mysterious essence grounded to a fine powder. Thankfully, it's uh, sealed inside a container that protects it from moisture. You can use this as a reagent to craft one random potion. Drawing one from the alchemy deck. Well, the wizard can. I can use it. Rather. Mm -hmm. We have a very convenient table here. <laughs> yes, we do. No doubles? Alright, five. Uh, I move three spaces next to the wizard and pass off the uh, mysterious ingredient there. Wait, hold on a second. Did I miss something? What, what do you mean? Was he using the movement action split thing? No, he's still standing there in the same spot he was last turn. Oh, why did I move him to the other door? <laughs> okay. So the monk... He's right. Okay. So he moves five spaces or three spaces next to the wizard and passes off the ingredient. Okay. And then... So he actually searched this That's room. not an action. What's that? Okay, so he's actually... He searched the green room. Right? Wait. Okay, so he went into the green room. Yeah, the turn before he searched the for a secret door, he and he was. Room. Oh, okay. And oh, then this he... turn, he, ser he and last turn he moved there and searched for secret doors. So this turn he searched for treasure, got that, then and then down. used his movement to go back in there, past the ingredient, and then he'll take one. You know, I'll stay there. I'm not gonna roll again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, passing is, is not an action. Okay, yeah, thanks. Now, and now it's your turn again. Sargon. Sargon's already 
already getting confused. Okay. So now the wizard has that ingredient. All right, now another bonus treasure search. I'll be nice for all the hard work the heroes did. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so um, I guess a bonus treasure search to whoever wants it, of course. But first, let me take my turn here. All right, the powers of chaos suddenly surge to overwhelming strength. All heroes must roll a combat die. Any who roll a skull miss their next turn. Okay, so go ahead, wizard. Roll a combat die. Okay, so you miss a turn. Dwarf. Missed. Monk. Missed. Wow. Okay. So you may draw a card, another one. <laughs> Go yes. again. Okay, well that one wasn't as <laughs> useful. Alright. Um, back to you guys. I get to use the uh, the ingredient and craft the potion. All right, so you're gonna move towards the. Well, I guess you're already standing in front of it. I'm already there. So I'm already there. Okay, so you're gonna craft it. All right, let's see what you get. I'll just shuffle the. It's a slightly safer the... version of the. The other potion. Yes, he's the safer because I, I can keep it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, it's like getting the jar of poison, but you can just hang on to it. It doesn't automatically, <laughs> you don't automatically chug it. But with my luck, is going to be Grog. Ogre Grog, the best. If Ogre Grog made you turn into an ogre when you got to like zero mind points that would be pretty cool instead of going into shock you go into like <laughs> ogre rage it's time potion of frost skin this pale blue vial is ice cold to the touch drink this potion to roll two additional dice when you roll defend dice it's, it's cool for the line of sight for the elf or the dwarf is very good yeah, but in here, um, okay, you've got that. Yeah, I'm going to, yes, uh, I'm going to keep it for now, but I'm going to give it to the elf or the barbarian agent or the dwarf. Actually, I can move. I give it directly to, well, the, the dwarf already have a lot of stuff. I can give it later to somebody else. I'm going to keep it for now. Ah, Ribby's here. I see the bright green icon. Cool. Okay, so you're hanging on to the potion of frost skin for the moment. For now, yes, I'm going to give it later. So we'll see. In this one, it does not say that it can't go back. So I guess it goes back into the deck. All right, frost skin. All right, welcome, Ribby. You want to take control of a hero? Sure. Excellent. Well, who would you like? Doesn't matter. Somebody give me something. There's a barbarian and there's an elf. Definitely take the barbarian and give the reagents to the wizard to start crafting. <laughs> or take them both. Uh, I'll take the barbarian. Alright. So there's the barbarian. He was hanging out outside of this wet room. And I can give you a refresher on what he's got. A 
Okay, so the Barbarian is at eight body points. Let's turn his icon back on here. <coughs> and he's armed with a long sword, a bastard sword, a great sword, a helmet. Courage is worn off long ago. He does have some skills. He's got uh, hidden reserves, faint, and heroic sacrifice. Actually, What's the uh, heroic sacrifice? I have the other two written down. Yeah, heroic sacrifice I think was was new. Let me get that for you here. Basically, you take the hit intended for your. Okay. Friend next so as long as I'm adjacent? Okay. So similar to the knight's ability, except that you actually take the damage. <laughs> okay. Alright. And let's see, what else do you have? You have uh, a couple reagents. You have the uh, mysterious flower, sacred plant. Yep. You have a healing plus four, battle rage, healing 1d6. You have no gold, though. Okay. The wizard made a potion, and it's now... Does that count as an action? It says, uh, between quests or while adjacent to an alchemist bench, the wizard may transform a reagent to one of the potions listed on that reagent card. Some reagents can be made in different kinds of potions. More than one potion. Using a reagent kit allows any hero, blah, blah, blah. This bench, the wizard does not need a reagent kit to craft potions. After crafting, the hero records that potion on the character sheet. Once the potion has been made, the reagent has been used up and may not be used again. Oh, do not return the card to the deck until the end of the quest. Well, that's the reagent. Doesn't say if it's an action or not. Oh, then, I, then I guess it's not an wizard action. Wizard can still move, move and do an action then. Yep. And yeah, he could have like 50 reagents and he could just craft them all. I, yes, I will. Uh... Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Ombro as an action because it's, I mean, and to do a potion is not fast like passing an item. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Yeah. Yeah, using, picking up a potion, passing a potion, using a potion. Just lose the logic. Free. So maybe making one is is also free. Yeah. Okay, no, no, it's, it's up to you because if it's not specified, it's up to the Zargon, I guess. Yeah, I would say you can craft potions as a free action, just like the other things. That's how I'd. Really okay. Work. Yep. Okay. So, is the Wizard done with his turn, or does he want to do? He could do. He could move into another action if he wanted. Um, no, um, I'm waiting for the Barbarian to arrive here. <laughs> All right, well, Ribby, that's you then. <laughs> I opened the shop. Yep. Um, let's move. We're doing unencumbered yeah, movement. No monsters. Move me next to the wizard and I'll give him these reagents. I should have enough. 11. Or I guess you would overlap his square, give it to him, and then where do you want to end up? Oh, uh, I guess yeah, one into the door through the door is fine. Okay, into the water. Now you now you will have to roll to. Oh, that's water. No, I yeah. hey, uh, doesn't know. It's full of water. Oh yes, yes. Okay, so the oh. central room is full of water. This is full of water. Oh, those are drains. Yeah, I remember drains. now. Okay, yeah, he looked. <laughs> okay, see, he he peaked. <laughs> Don't worry, I remixed it. No, I was here l l last week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, sure, sure. He, he, he's still a <clears throat> Two weeks ago, but yeah, we believe you. Oh, yeah, two weeks. <laughs> Anything can happen. That's right, you were gone last week. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. Okay, leave me in the red room then. Okay. All right. So he has a flower and a plant now. Yep, flower and a sacred plant. 
and let me just review what those do. I think I wrote them down, but just in case I didn't, or you didn't. So the sacred plant, you can use it to restore one mind point, or you can turn it into restoration. That's the one on one or holy water. And then the mysterious flower you've already encountered, you can either give yourself one body point back or craft it into dexterity. That's the five movement or one automatic uh, trap jump or potion of defense. That's plus two for one defense. So sweet, the barbarian gave the wizard a flower. Aww. So, I, I, there's uh, the possibility to craft one potion of feeding, right? But uh, so uh, I'm going to well, well if it's my turn, when is my turn? Yeah, <laughs> yeah actually, it, it doesn't give you a potion of healing. It's either uh, well, it's a potion of restoration. Restoration is gives you back one body point and one mind point. So yes, I guess it's a type of healing. And uh, holy water. Yeah. What you guys uh, like more? Because they, I, I think with the ghosts, holy water will help us. Yeah, it'll uh, definitely help. Yes, right? So I'll do. What, like, when it's my turn, I'm going to do the holy water and the other one. Potion of. You, what do you prefer? A potion of uh, a defense or the other one? What is. Uh, Agility? Dexterity. Yeah. Dexterity? What do you like more? <laughs> A push of uh, dexterity, I think, is better. I don't know. Well, it's fine. Do what you want. But let's do those potions. Okay, so there's dexterity dark sparkling liquid that sends a jolt of energy through you. It's Jolt Cola. Yes. <laughs> Five extra <laughs> squares of movement or automatically see, succeed one pit jump. Well, they say pit jump. Not necessarily trap, but just pit. Okay. And then Holy Water. Just had it here. Do. It's like the pile of cards just gets bigger and bigger. Did they change holy water for the, nope. the rise of the, no? Oh, so it still only affects mummies, skeletons, and well, zombies? Well, here's the thing. In the in the quest book, it says mummy or, um, specters are undead and affected by holy water just like other undead creatures. So it's not on the card, but oh, okay. it, is in, it is in right, the... But they, but they made two new cards for the... They right, did. for... To, to make or change two cards or is that yeah they somewhere else yeah they included a, a revised helmet and a revised uh hand axe but not a revised holy water go figure okay honestly i think they could have just put yeah just any undead creature because it's just going to get longer and longer as you add more undead monsters right or right or or just to find undead yeah yeah that's true any any uh, any miniature that's this color? Oh wait, you can't do that now because they're gonna have transparent ones. So anyone with zero mind points, uh, <laughs> you know, yeah. Okay, all right. So you got those two things, uh, dexterity and holy water. And are you gonna hang on to them or pass them to someone else? I'm going to give the. Uh... The, well, I'm going to give the dexterity. Well, I can keep the holy water so I can do something in the combat for uh, the undead. Yeah, you got. And give the. Now. Yes, and give the uh, the dexterity to somebody else. I don't know. Can use it. I think the barbarian would be the best. Barbarian. 
All right, so you want to move over there and give it to him? Yes. All right, so the Barbarian now has the Dexterity. Now he just needs to be wearing some plate armor, so it really, he can really feel the benefit. <laughs> just kidding. He actually had a Dexterity before, or no, that was the Dwarf. Was yeah, say. that was the Dwarf. Yeah. Okay. First time getting Dexterity. Jolt Cola, if anybody remembers that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. I just remember. I remember it. Kick and twice the caffeine. <laughs> yep, twice the caffeine is the ordinary soda. Okay, or pop, or fizzy lifting drinks, whatever you call it. Okay, all right. It's right. so after the wizard. All right, the dwarf. So. Oh wait, are we? He's gonna go. Are we doing the barbarian next? The barbarian is the one that just moved and gave the ingredients to the wizard. And the wizard just crafted it as a free action. And then you let him move again. Oh, come on, guys. You got to get out no, here. Well, the, uh, the idea was to do everything in my turn. Okay. Well, but, turn, so right, it, we, we, can re just, we can just we just reset the turn and uh, start from the beginning uh, and uh, proceed with the barbarian, I think. Okay. Is there way? Well, if, instead of doing all the resetting, just let the dwarf and the, um, well, the dwarf can move his 12 spaces, and then I rolled an 8, so he avoided getting sucked in, so he can stand in f by the, the other door there, in the green room, and the monk can do the same thing, get out of the way, that way the wizard doesn't have to move so far. Uh. 2d6. Xerxes says the trans nine ones so are going nothing. to make homebrews so much depth and monsters regenerating. If you think about it, can't wait for the new boxes coming. Okay, so you got nine. Nine, so he didn't get sucked into the drain either and can stand next to the or below the dwarf. Okay. Alright, now the wizard can craft the potion and pass to the uh, barbarian on his way to setting up. You know, it would be nice in the future, yep. something that if we can figure out how to do it, is that, like, as you guys are talking, like, it'll show, like, a little, I don't know, a, like, a little indicator next to each one. <laughs> and then... The active hero. Yeah. yeah, that would further remind uh, old senile <laughs> Uncle Zargon who's turning it. Okay, all right, so after that, we got a redemption. Another abomination appears. People got lots of gold. The drain is not blocked. Here we go. Oh, right, and after my turn, it is your turn, so you get to draw a card, too. Well, I think I'm just going to take the monster instead. No problem. All right, so the monster rises up out of the drain, but he's not going to stay in the drain. He's going to move one, two, and attack the monk. Xerxes approves. Two skulls. Uh, I'm going to use the water. Alright. Water technique. Uh, so no damage. No damage. And Xerxes, if you call that weak. <laughs> no, strong. Too strong. Okay. All right. So no damage from that. Darn. Okay. Well, well, spring. Yep. Um. Okay. Ah, that would be cheap. Okay, never mind. Um. <clears throat> Go for it, heroes. Alberta says gonna need a plumber to get that abomination corpse out of that drain. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time, Xerxes. We got room for another hero if anybody wants to jump in. Two, possibly. 
Alright, Bohemius got an 11. Yeah, I'm going to enter inside the room. The watery room? Should the roll I give? Yeah, should the roll I give for the, the room? Yes. Okay. It. Still get nine squares, but I mean, yeah, just, just to see if yeah. it affects you. Okay, you're safe. Okay. So you got nine more squares. Uh, I'm going to open the door. Alright. Looking for trouble. That's right. <laughs> Oops, I moved the door for some reason. Okay, revealing the room. Okay, now we see the sorcerer's table. Do you have to jump the drain tile? I don't recall. Um, yeah. So it behaves like a pit. Yeah, if you just if you just blunder into it, yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna get hurt. Okay, so you see that, and a good question though. Um, also, you see a closed door here. And an ornate statue here. And that's what you see. Is the room full of water? Another excellent question. It is not. So I'm going to enter inside the room. Just kidding, it's full of burning so tar! No, I'm <laughs> just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You step into the room. Uh, yeah. Can I search for traps or... or or not? Of course you can search or... for traps. Well, you haven't used your action. <laughs> or yet. I fell into one of what I mean. Oh <laughs> you're waiting for me to say Yeah, and uh, you, you you could, but you can't because you fell in. No, uh, <laughs> oh, you, you know. Okay, searching for All traps. Right. Okay, searching for traps. Alright. Alright, the room is unusually dry and clean. And you discover a small plaque on the statue that reads, The winds of Elethorn are sweet bygones. Hmm. That's all you detect. He's a clue. Okay, that's it. My turn, Barbarian. Alright, ready. So, let's see. One, two, three, four. That would get me around that drain. Next to the Barbarian. Or next to the Abomination. One, two, three, four, Inside five, yourself. six, seven. Yeah, let's do that. And then I got to roll again for the drainage. Yes. Well, around the the right side. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, where are you going? One, two, three. Next four, to the five, abomination. Six. Oh, okay. Yeah, roll real quick just to see if it affected you. Nope, you're safe. And right, I'm gonna smack him with my great sword. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dig it. Okay. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Ching and two hits. Got her. Splash. All right, scratch one abomination. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. I heard the echo. I still don't know why it's doing that. I thought I fixed it. Yeah, you hear a flushing sound as it spins. It's like in The Hobbit when they, when the dead characters like spin around, go off the screen. Ah, tally ho! 
All right, after the barbarian, the mighty dwarf. All right. Um. Uh, let me roll for the drainage. Awful stomp him down. All right. All right, nine, I'm safe. Nine. All right, so I'll move to the other closed door and I'll search for secret doors. Two, three, four, five for secret doors. I'm really thinking that the monsters need to eat more spinach, said Xerxes. <laughs> ah, a clue of what he's going to do. Okay, you search for secret doors and none are detected. Okay. Um, the monk uh, regains his water back. Ah, because no, no monsters. monsters. True. And uh, let me roll for drainage. <laughs> Somebody heard you say no monsters. Oh, it's equipment. Ah, you fooled me, bird. I wasn't looking at the screen. Okay. All right, 11. All right, so he didn't get affected either. Uh, he'll move uh, uh, north Bonus of equipment. the dwarf. And he will use a longbow. He'll search for treasure. Okay, so the monk's searching for treasure. Yeah, and uh, he's going to hold the swift wind spell just in case that's what this damn statue's talking about. Just in case. What do you want to do? Spell throw. I don't know. He's gonna hold the spell scroll. I don't know. He's gonna hold. Said it. something about the winds of Elathorn, and I got a swift well, wind I, scroll. I, I, treasure chest. I, I have a, a free swift wind with the spell. If you want me to try it, I don't know I, if I'm supposed <laughs> to use it on the statue or if I'm just supposed I, to have it in the room. I don't know. I'm not I don't sure know. What the inscription means. I am. I think we have the the same idea. I mean, you. So uh, I can use my swift wind on the uh, statue in my turn, and you can hold that in case we need it later for another. Yeah. Well, I so I said I'm searching for treasure, but I don't know if this whole anything happens with this statue or with this scroll. Yeah. Or... I, I, I'm curious. I, I think I, we really have the uh, the same idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be like the early video games where you, you're you're setting it in a slot, but you don't know how you're supposed to use it, but you know it's yeah. supposed to go there, or it sounds like it's supposed to go there. Oh, man. Okay, Um. and Verg, thank you, Verg. Uh, he says group decides. So who wants the uh, longbow? The wizard and the dwarf can't use it, but anybody else can. It's four dice ranged. Uh, the If the monk can use it, so longbow goes to the monk. I'm searching for treasure. Yep. And I got a spell scroll equipped, but I'm not using it. But I'm holding it or something at the statue while I'm searching. <laughs> After reading about a wind. <laughs> okay. All right. And sorry, remind me, is this the monk or is this the dwarf? The monk. The monk's the one that ah, got dad. it. Okay. You just found the championship bell. You've claimed the championship title, but now you are the target. All monsters will focus their attacks on the one who holds the bell. You may plant the belt on another hero by moving adjacent. Then roll in one red die to move away. Cash in the belt at the end of the quest to get the reward of 110 gold coins. Okay. Alright. So we got Ricky the Dragon Steamboat here. <laughs> Is that intercontinental, or what are we looking at? Hmm question <laughs> yeah i'm not sure what, who, what the monk's uh weight class is the uh old world championship 
Yeah, I don't know. I guess uh, in your head you just uh, you just decide what it is. <laughs> okay, so championship belt. All right, but nothing else has seemed to happen. The monk is definitely an MMA fighter. Zargon's turn, I suppose. Well, that'll be fun. Okay. All right, hero's turn. Right. Can we search the traps in this room? Yes. Is there, or is it? Oh, okay. We yeah. can. All right. Is the first well, thing I did because we couldn't search for traps in water areas, but I wasn't sure if it's water or the whole quest. No water here. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going. going... Quick, quick clarification. So what Jacer is saying there, um, yeah, in the water areas, you can see the drain visually. So there's no need to search for traps, and there won't be any other traps other than that in the water areas. The other areas, you're on your own. <laughs> okay. So okay. carefully, I'm going one north and cast Swift Wind on the uh, on the statue. All right. It's a little strange. The statue is, you know, it's got like, it's kind of like shifting on its foundations a little bit. It's kind of weird. Uh, let's see here. And it, so it kind of rattles a little bit, but but other than that, that's that's the only effect. Mm. Well, now we're I playing. Bet it open, door. Open, open door <laughs> probably does something. So I'll cross off Swift Wind. Now I will uh, bring the wizard's attention to something. He's used up all his his magic, but he might be able to regain yes. some magic uh, at that sorcerer's table if he haven't hasn't searched for treasure yet. Ow! I'll just walk up to it and say that you're searching with your treasure search. Okay. Ow! Oh, but it's a new rule. Yeah, it's a it's a house rule I... that I that I have. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, okay. I didn't know that. Yep. That's okay, I'll do, I'll do it the next turn. Yeah. It'd be kind of cheesy of me not to tell you about it, and then, like, oh. <laughs> too bad you didn't do the thing. Like, what? <laughs> okay. All right. Barbarian? All right. This is for um, Drain? Yes. Okay, that's all good. And now movement. Oh, right, I get the 12, don't I? Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Xerxes, did you bring your fishing pole? <laughs> yeah, I'm a little late to read, read that comment. Let's, uh, let's open that door and go through. Alright. 8. So you open the door. Alright, you open the door and immediately you can tell that this hallway is full of water as well. Step, mm. step through. Oh, and you see. Do I have to? Since you can see out the out the door, I don't reveal the entire corridor, just those few squares you can see. So standing right here, you can see mm. a drain, and you can tell that there's. Does he have to roll again? Because he already rolled for drainage in the first room. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was gonna ask. Yeah, every How many movement do I left? I'm eight at the door. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, let's, let's go out and well see what's in the hallway and then we'll decide which way to go okay or how far to go all right was that was that your roll again for the drainage oh no i didn't roll again okay we're gonna do it come on we're now. what are you waiting for i'm here come on kill me <laughs> All right, eight, you're safe. Yep. And I see stuff. Nothing. Uh, you do see stuff. Let's line this up here. There is a closed door right here. All right. That's nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, three over to finish out movement. 
now you can't search for traps, but that doesn't mean you can't search for other things. That's a clue. <laughs> okay. Uh, secret doors then. All right, you're searching for secret doors. Mm hmm. I don't normally do that sort of thing, but I just wanted to be clear. Okay. There's your okay. Door. Okay. That's it for me. All right. Dwarf. All right. Um, I'll go to the secret door. I rolled a seven, so I'm safe from the drain. And open it. Okay. All right, so you open the secret door, revealing the room. And what do you see? A cupboard. And a door. And a skeleton. A cultist corner so this is a new character you haven't encountered before a dread cultist all right um I guess I'll go for the cultist first all right so you're stepping into the room yeah uh, I rolled a I rolled a seven too. So if that's the drain, it could also be the movement. Or do you want me to roll again for movement? Oh, it's a dry room. Okay. So then I'll I'll move the other three spaces to the coldest. Okay. All right. Two skulls. Two hits. All right, and he defends with two. Let me just double check his repertoire. Yeah, I don't have any of the new guys memorized. No, he has a spell. Yeah, he's got two spells. Two spells, okay. Ah, but he didn't have a chance to use them. He got him. <sighs> How many body points do they have? Just one. Oh, just one. I... Okay, I thought they had two at least. I thought they'd be more like a, a mercenary type. Nope. Okay. But now his That's good to know. his spells uh, he has the channel dread and dread and light. Dread lights. That's yeah. it. Yep. Or chaos lights and channel chaos. If you're a old school player, chaos cultist. All right, so you you got him. All right, and then the monk. And uh, um, you know what? Right to the the secret door tile. Uh, let me roll for the drainage. All right, I'm safe. No doubles. Okay. You gonna end your turn there? And that, going? No. Uh, one in on the the secret door tile. And I'm gonna try out the. Actually, one space to the left, so that I'm next to the dwarf. I'm gonna pass the dwarf the crossbow, and then I'm gonna try the shoot with the longbow. Okay, Dwarf, you now have a crossbow. And Monk, you've got your longbow. Four dice. And Skeleton's the only target, so you're firing it, Skeleton. Yep. Ooh. Nice. Two skulls. Two, Two skulls. skulls. 
Got her. All right. Nice. I like the longbow. <laughs> Skeleton didn't like the longbow. <laughs> okay. Uh, my turn then. All right. Yes, it is. All right. I'm going to use Ray's dead. Death seems to have come too early for some. I get to bring back a monster from the previous round. And the dread cultist dusts himself off. Ah. I feel like it's uh, Warcraft 2 again. He's like, I'm alive. <laughs> if anybody remembers that. Okay. So I can cast something on you. Let's see, dread lights or I think channel dread. So that means I gotta roll a red die to see if I what kind of damage I do, if any. Okay, I got a two. Okay, hero right, I'm safe. spell. Yep, no damage. Bonus monster for Zargon. Thank you. All right. A mummy bursts forth from the cupboard. So Darth Daddio gave us the monster, and Luca rocks redeemed a potion for the heroes. All right, any preference on who the potion goes to? Let's find out what it is. Uh, Wolf Spain. Yeah. I'm going to say the alchemist. Okay. Uh, the monk has a wolf bane. So anybody but the monk. <laughs> okay. Bohemius, would you want it? Okay. I'll take it. Thanks, guys. Okay. <clears throat> All right, where were we? Um, yeah, I, I got to do my thing. Got to bring the monster forward, but not attack yet. Okay, heroes. Uh, uh, I'm going to search for treasure for uh, the spell. Okay. Alright, you search the table, and it looks like there's enough materials here that you could reconstruct one of your previously used spells. So which one will it be? I don't know, we... I think we can hold on our hunch, and uh, recover Swift Wind again. Let's see if he's going to be helpful. Okay, you sure you want to do Swift Wind? No. <laughs> okay, well, uh, how about But this? let's do it. Okay, for, well, for role uh, play. Okay, well, you know, as as you're uh, shuffling through the papers, you realize that the previous, uh, shall we say, uh, chaos-inclined character <laughs> had rigged the statue to transform into a uh, gargoyle. And the, uh, the use of... Uh, air magic nullifies it so actually discover that um you've already thwarted uh, whatever fiendish plot was devised by the previous uh owner of the of the table so okay you can, you can still revive one of your spells if you choose so something that can save me in case i'm alone i think it Genio or Pastor Rock, so let's go for the um, Pastor Rocks. All right. yeah, that or, or a heal body. Also, yes, I could, could do that, but so that would bring you back to full <sighs> health. 
he does have a potion of healing. I know. He, oh yes, he does. I got right. got we got the healing potion, so I don't know. I think the uh, Astro Rocco or GD would uh, help more, but I don't know. He's a risk, but I'm going for the uh, Pastoral Rocks. Okay. All right. So you've reacquired Pastor Rock. <laughs> Yeah, the joke about okay, Channel it. Dread sounding like a TV station or a radio station. I was thinking ES. He said ESPN nine, but I was thinking like ESP, like extrasensory perception, <laughs> and the spirits go and the music is live. All right, very funny. Okay, all right. So after that, we have the barbarian. He's in the water. So he's got a roll for drainage. Safe. All right, let's move. Let's see, one, two, I guess next to the mummy. Okay. All right, and what path are you taking to get there? Mm hmm. Three. <laughs> uh. Straight. Well, you know, my you know you know the two spots we're on are safe. True. So let's go through them and then one south. Yeah, yeah. All right. You've and landed, landed on a safe square. Okay. <laughs> okay. And I'll attack the mummy, the great sword. Copyright a name, change it a little. I keep forgetting that it displays it on screen, so I don't necessarily have to read every every uh, comment. Three skulls. Wow. Okay. Not kidding around. That one shot at the mummy. Nice. And when that happens, I play this card. Explosive enemy. Monster explodes nope. over all adjacent squares. Every figure hit is attacked with one combat die for each of the monster's body points. So big two. The monster explodes in a cloud of jagged bones and teeth. Alright. So you get attacked by oh, two. Good thing he wasn't next to anybody. <laughs> Dad. All right, roll uh, barbarian. Uh, roll defense. Cha ching. Okay, no damage. Nice. Right. It's just just dirty toilet paper anyway. Just kind of brushed it off. Next hero. Dwarf. Cheers, dead gamer. All right. Um... Did that. Wow. Four. Uh, I think you got him. Didn't have a chance. Yep. You got him again. This time, <laughs> he stays down. All right. The monk is going to use his, uh, Earth technique and do the su double search for traps and secret doors at the same time. All right, that really narrows it down. I'm studying here. Stop doing so much noise, guys. <laughs> I like it. Look at the flickering candles. Okay, so, okay, so there are no secret doors. But so this square here looks suspicious. <laughs> Raise the dead again. Yes, it's a different color, but it's the same deck. All right. Just when you thought you'd taken him down, he gets up again. <laughs> ha ha! <laughs> It's like the Black Knight from Monty Python. That seems to have come too early for some. Let's see. 
Just says it comes back. Doesn't say he gets to attack in that moment. So. <laughs> oh, so it's not as good as the other one. No. All right. Uh, wizard. He thinks we're all from All right. He's been jamming at his DJ table there. Laying down some fat beats. Three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, now you're really missing that switch, well, hand, aren't you? One, two, three. I'm going in front of the door, dear. <laughs> and that's it. Alright. Barbarian. Two skulls. With the barbarian mind giving the dwarf the longsword, and the dwarf can give you the broadsword? That way we both have diagonal attacks. Now you don't even need a broadsword, do you? You have a bastard sword too. Well, I have right now, I mean, you guys decide. Uh, the barbarian's got a bastard sword and a long sword and a great sword. The dwarf has a broadsword and a battle axe. Yeah, great sword has diagonal. Okay, but anyway, you guys decide what you want, but two skulls, all right, you might be going down again, let's see. I just realized can... I was on mute. Oh, yeah. So they take the longsword. All right, cool. It's like you're not getting my, not getting my sword. Mm. Unless you can pry it from my cold dead hands. Okay, so I don't have much defense. That's kind of my problem here. I think I... It's no problem. <laughs> it's no problem for you guys, yeah. <laughs> well, singly, they're not too powerful. But in groups, yeah, it could be something different. Yeah, and he goes down again for the third time. All right. He flashes and disappears. And you All see, right. like, uh, some points up here. <laughs> Strike out for the cultist. Yep. You think you hear the game over music from your favorite video game? Coming from like his spot on the floor. <laughs> All right, uh, the dwarf will pass the broadsword to the barbarian. Just giving him everything. Well, he just gave me the long sword, so might as well give him the broadsword because that. Deal, deal. Might be low on, might be low on gold too, and can always sell it or <laughs> give it to another hero. I'm not sure what the, I don't remember what the elf had. Um, and then he will disarm the, the trap. Elf has a broadsword, a longbow, crossbow, and rapier. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna try to disarm. Yes. All right. Roll anything but a black shield. On one combat die. Here it comes. Weak. We think they could have been a little stronger. Well, I didn't design them. All right, shield. Oh. Wait. Okay. So you disarmed it, and it was a caltrop. A new type of trap. Okay. This is what it looks like. That's also something that you guys can buy, but the bad guys can leave them around as well to try to trip you up. Um, the dwarf will move towards the southern door. 
Okay. And the monk will search for treasure. A mysterious flower. Oh, you find all kinds of things. So that's the uh, potion defense or dexterity. Or it can be used as a plus one body point. Oh, and my... Um, um, stone spell comes back. Monsters, yep. No monsters. Um, and then I will want to move three spaces and pass it off to the, the wizard, and then move three spaces back to where I'm at, and I'll roll for the drainage. Okay. Uh, the drain. No doubles. Okay, All so right. Water is used. Okay. Thank you. All right, You're so where's, welcome. Where's the monk ending back up again? Same, same place he started. Oh. Uh, I guess he could he could actually end up right uh, south of the uh, on the uh, where the cow trops used to be. And that brings it back to your turn. All right, hero's turn. So I'm asking the barbarian if you want to come in, uh, and explore the door in the corridor. <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? Oh, okay. So let me move if I can reach the door. Nine. So I'm going uh, one south and four. Yes, four on the right. Okay. Did you roll your uh, safety roll? And then, uh, sure. I don't think you you didn't have to roll for movement. Yeah, he did anyway, though. I wasn't gonna stop. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Ah. Uh... Or no, wait, wait, wait. No, no, I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it wrong. Okay. So as soon as you stepped in here, we count. Yes. The roll. It's only half of that, so it's three. Oh, but you'd still get dragged in anyway. Okay. Yes. You're, you're in the pit. Ends your turn. One body point. I can off. use the. I can use a card. Uh, what does it always called? Alertness. Ah. Alertness. Okay. Perception is second to none. Automatically ignore one trap, ambush one monster card or event. So. I guess you. Uh, resist. You, you didn't actually get sucked in. You were like hanging on by your fingers. Okay, and so then you kept on going with your normal movement. Made okay, so I'm going in front of the door and open it. Clever. Okay. All right. Let's cross that one off. All right, you open the door, revealing the room. All right, you see a spiral staircase leads out of the quest to the next quest. Ooh. We're in the exit, but we can continue to... <laughs> Probably is the last room, that one, in front of the dwarf. Chaos card for Zargon. Mm. The old fake exploding staircase trick gets him every time. Hopefully that's what's on the card. <laughs> Uh, let's do something. I'm going to. Um, so th this room is not. Uh, it's not in the water, right? Uh, that the one room in... is not wet. Correct. Okay. So I'm going to enter one square and wait there. 
For those of you who are worried the stream's gonna end as soon as the quest ends, that's not true. If we've got extra time, we can always start the next one if people want to. All right. I think a bunch of stuff was just bought. Yep, <laughs> I'm, I'm grabbing it as we speak. So, uh, Xerxes cashed in a chaos card. We got a mummy summoned <laughs> and an upgraded mummy, in fact. Okay. So, um, Wizard, is, is that's your turn, right? I, yes, I had to inside the, the room and uh, wait there. Some action at the end, okay. Alright, a mummy shambles up the stairs. But not just any mummy, it's an elite mummy. I'll one shot that dumb mummy. <laughs> I love it, Ruby. Okay. All right. So um, after the wizard is the barbarian. Yeah. yeah. Um. I said the toilet. Paper. Well. <laughs> he's got. Well, I guess I got to roll for movement now. Easiest costume ever, except at the beginning of the pandemic. Ugh. Lame. Um, yeah, too soon. Two, two, four. Hmm. Let's open the south door. Alright. Alright, opening the door. Reveal in the room. All right, it's a dry room. <laughs> okay, and uh, you see a door here, a weapons rack here, a zombie in the corner, and another cultist. Um, I guess I'll go in and head towards the mummy. And that's as far as my movement will get me. Three, four, five, six. I don't think I could go that far. Or, we're right here. One to the right, yeah. Yeah, it's actually. I didn't have enough zombie, movement. But yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Somebody was saying on that stream that we did about the. Um, about the new expansions that like people can't tell the difference between the figures but i guess you can't with these either okay so these are the these are the mythic uh undeads so zombie mummy well the skeletons, Pretty close skeletons a little easier to tell they all go they they go down pretty easy you know they they go up yeah quick. You know, shoot them in the head another one for the fire that's it yeah. so you don't have any ranged weaponry nope what a shame <laughs> okay all right then dwarf cultist 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 he's our man he can't do it he can get him <laughs> oh it's supposed to be yeah sorry the cheerleader cultist 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 he's our man if no one can do it he can get him <laughs> yeah high kicks <laughs> somersault <laughs> actually that would be a great miniature like a goblin cheerleader with the pom-poms <laughs> could you zoom out a little bit Six, seven. All right, eight. Dwarf's gonna move eight spaces and get in front of the elite mummy. All right, you 
you do the safety roll? No, I want to do that now. Uh, Eleven. All right. I'm safe. All right, so right in front of the mummy. Yep. And, uh, battle axe time. So we got a potion. Thanks, Ferg. Potion of Restoration. One body, one mind. Who gets it? Uh, Two skulls. The monk has two healing potions. The dwarf has one. I'm not sure if the barbarian or yeah, barbarian's got a couple. So give it to either the wizard or the dwarf. The dwarf, I got two on the okay. wizard. Dwarf. Restoration. <laughs> okay, so dwarf. Yes. Thank you. Restoration. Pom pom goblin happens. Ash would need a paramedic for that. Yes. Send more cops. Send more paramedics. I'm not sure if they did the uh, the pom ponger for the uh, for the goblin in the nineties for Blood Bowl. Ah. See, <laughs> uh, games Workshop. Yeah, for, on I'm sure for the orc for the orc. Uh, <laughs> The cheerleader, but the goblin, I don't remember. You could have an entire squad, you know, with everything. Yeah. Another, another monster, I, this is just a, like a, like some type of like medic monster that goes around like healing the other monsters. Of course, you have to have ones that have more than one body point. But, uh, yeah. Or maybe if a monster dies in the area, they don't, they just go down. And so they have until that turn to try to get them back. Could be something. Maybe that'd be more like a necromancer, like just reviving him that way. Or, or if, yeah, or well, or if one monster died, you'd be able to use that death to heal a different monster in the same room. Yeah, could be all kinds of things. But I mean, just as an excuse to have like a, you know, another monster with like a little, <laughs> like medical bag or something. It's like on your feet. Okay. Well, even that, yeah, he takes, he hacks off limbs from one body and grafts it onto another. Oh, oh, this like, one uh, lost an arm. Pain boy <laughs> from uh, uh, 40k. I think. Oh, <laughs> darn it! <laughs> wow. Got him. Wrong shield. Uh, so the mummy just right. rolls down the stairs, and uh, the dwarf realized he was standing on the, the the bandage, and so it unraveled as it went down the stairs. Just a bunch of bones at the bottom. Clunk, clunk, clunk. But yeah, he would need a pair <laughs> Got it! Got it! Got All right. All right, now... That is his... All right, the... Uh, the monk is going to shoot the cultist. All now right. that the dwarf is out of the way. Okay, so he's moving into the room? No, he's just shooting straight oh, in. Oh, spicy. Oh, dang. I didn't realize he had that kind of power, but yeah, there's nothing he can do. Kind him to the wall. Got him. <laughs> he didn't Skewered. see it coming. As soon as the dwarf was out of the way, he let that arrow fly. Yep. He thought he won too. The dwarf ran away and he was scot free. Alright, so now it's the uh, zombie turn. Alright, thanks. Ah, Barb's next attack for the combat dice color change. Okay, well, and he well actually, actually it's the it's the zombies turn. It, it would be yeah, you're right. I I didn't uh, specify because yeah, if people do that. That that'd be interesting too. But yeah, it'd be the next attack. So sorry, Bird. Um, so the zombie gets a color change. Is what really what happens. I mean, you could always try to cash in another one in the hopes. 
someone could. Oh, uh, no, it's color roll, right? Roll color, I think. Roll color. So new, I. Yeah, I don't remember either. <laughs> yeah, it's impossible to time it with delay. Well, but fair point, I could add another reward that actually lets you choose or put verbiage to that effect so that, yeah, you don't think, oh, it's going to be for a specific one. You can only do one per quest. Okay, so it's purple. That's an enhancement. Okay. Or per user. Yeah, it's so chaotic, though. It's like it can help you or it can hurt you. So I'll roll my purple dice. Two skulls. Cha-ching. Yeah, so I guess it's no different. But I mean, if, if I'd gotten two doubles, it would have been four, which is way more than he can normally do. Okay. Um, oh, dang it. Okay. Oh, well. <clears throat> you guys go. I realized I should have done something, but... Theoretically, could the wizard pass through the stairs and look into that next room and then step back into the stairs or into that room? This roll. So let me. Yeah, I got a four. So I'm going uh, close to the uh, to the monk. Yes. I don't want to search for treasures. <laughs> this room is already being searched, right? Well, you haven't searched it, though, right? No, no, I know, but I, I want to. I want to know if there's something like specific for this room. I think it's been no, I think it's just a card. Yeah. It was okay, just a card. So I, I know, and I don't yeah. want to risk it. I know Nightfall kind of threw everybody off because it said like the first hero for searches for treasure gets this, and the second hero for searches for treasure gets this other thing. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't looked ahead enough to see if this quest pack does that, but I think if you get one card, you're pretty much, yeah, you know that it's just going to be cards all the way down. But so big, big barbarian stern, big deck of cards, you know, could be anything. All right. <laughs> Leaps into action. Okay, that was your roll. That was so quick. Mm -hmm. Wow. I was I was waiting for it. All right, had it had it ready to go. Yeah, now I'm just back to regular white dice here. Less one. <laughs> yeah, nobody else can cash it in. Okay. Ah, uh, one shotted. And I'm not sure why I rolled that many. It was it was only supposed to be three. And the mummy is the one that gets four. Yeah. See, I, you got That's me okay. doing it now. Okay, well, <laughs> Either way, the mummy, the mummy, the mummy steal a shield from the <laughs> the armory. Oh, <laughs> a villain its feet. Yeah, Just grabbed it. Ah, oh, it still wasn't enough. The shield was like really like corroded and crappy, so it didn't matter. Split it in two, um, and then. I guess move me in front of the door, the closed door. Okay. 
even though it's not a katana i picture you with like you know you do the little flourish with the sword like sling the goo off and then you like put it back in the scabbard really slowly <laughs> stylish okay so back to the door or, yeah or to the new door it's to the closed door yeah and we'll hang out there. Uh, which which path are you taking to get there? Um. Hmm. I don't know. Let's just go straight south. Yeah. And that's it. I'll just wait there. Okay. Dwarf. Alright, Dwarf is gonna go to the left of the Barbarian, following the Barbarian's tracks. I'll roll for the hallway. Yeah. Alright, clear. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And he'll uh, search for treasure. Oh, gold. Okay. I don't know if there's going to be anything on the weapon rack. Well, that's that's a good point. Um, you want to specifically check the weapons rack instead of just doing a general search. I'll let you uh, dig into the equipment deck. There's actually no note. Uh, it's your choice. I'll let uh, you... You know what? I'll roll for it. If it's uh, a shield, I'll do the uh, equipment. If it's a skull, I'll do the treasure deck. 50% chance, okay. Cut it with a knife. Treasure deck. Treasure deck, okay. Any other hero can do the same. If you want to search for equipment in there, you can. For your treasure search instead of the treasure deck. Wolfsbane potion. Okay. Okay. All right, monk. The monk will follow the same path as the following the past two heroes. Five, you can go just south of the dwarf. Six, seven. And he'll do the the uh, discernment again and check for traps and secret doors at the same time all right no secret doors and no traps okay. I had you guys going though didn't I <laughs> uh-huh. yeah I'm, I'm suspicious of most rooms anyway <laughs> And with the call trap, the cow traps, I'm like, all right, so now there can really be anything in here. Yep. Can't trust this guy. All right. Well, you can't trust when you can trust him. <laughs> all right. Okay. I guess it's my turn. All right, Creeping Darkness. A strange darkness prevents you from using magic. Now, I'm going to interpret this in the most broad way possible and say that that would apply to the, the monk's uh, styles as well. So for the next turn, none of that. Blocking his chi. Would I still regain it, or does it block me from regaining my spells? Well, you can regain it. Which is a okay. reminding me, it, you just can't use it. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's my turn. So I'm going to enter the room and search for the weapon rack. Plate mail. Plate mail armor. You can't use it, but if someone else can use it, so you can just kind of stow it for now. Somebody want to go slow? Nope. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Money. <laughs> yes. I would rather sell that and buy the chain mail. <laughs> Uh, I'll buy you a chain mail then. Okay. Excellent. Alright, after the wizard. Barbarian. Okay, let's open the door. The warrior, as he's called in Japan. Alright, the door's open. Let's see what you see. Seems to be another dry room. There is a throne. Ooh. Another treasure chest. And a bookcase. You might think to yourself, you know, it is a dry room, but there are some monsters in here who are thirsty for blood. There's a cultist. And two more cultists. Hmm. And behind them, right. an elf assassin. Another new monster. Okay. So I will. Hmm. This doesn't matter. I'll uh, just go straight in and hit the first cultist. <laughs> okay. Straight in, you say? Okay. Yep. Just mindless rage. Skulls. Yeah, I guess he can't really. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, he really can't do anything. <laughs> Got him. Um. And hmm, how about I? I don't know if it's worth using or not. I was gonna say drink a battle rage and kill another cultist. Hmm. Just so they can't use that powered up channel dread. Yeah, sure, why not? I'll drink a Battle Rage attack again. Okay. Should have had you do that at the start, but I'll allow it. It's good. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that gives you two attacks per turn until you can't see monsters anymore. Three skulls. Yep, got him. And that's it. All right. Wow, powerful. Okay. Chase your roll to six. 
six. Um, one, two, three, four. All right, I guess south of the assassin. Okay, the assassin defends with three. Nothing. And she only has two body points, so got her. Jeez. Rolling over the monsters. Mm -hmm. All right. The assassin um, looks like. Oh, five attack dice. Okay, good. Um, all right, good job. <laughs> all right. Um, can the monk see the other, the last cultist? From here, no. He'll have to okay, move. so then he gets the earth back. Ah, yes. All right. Charged. Yep. Just trying to get a better view. All right, eight. So the monk goes up to the last cultist, and oh, I can't use it. Never mind. I yep. forgot. All yep. right, so yep. they. Yes. Uh, so the monk will move between the barbarian and the dwarf and shoot him with the longbow. No magic here. Twang! <laughs> Wrestling move. Oh. And a one. Dang. Alright. Well, he only has one body point, but let me just see. Well, he's not going to get a wrestling move in return because he only has two. Costy! <laughs> Got him. So much for those colors. Right. That brings it back to your turn. <laughs> so, what, what, what have we learned here? Initiative is very important, and three specters are a real challenge, but three cultists... Not so much. <laughs> At least in uh, this particular configuration. But it was the first encounter. Okay. Uh... Anything but log trap. <laughs> nah. Nope. Bonus equipment. This time it's Elverg. Yep. <laughs> um, okay. Let's uh see what you get here. A long sword. Alright, who gets the long sword? The dwarf. Uh, I already got one from the barbarian. Yeah, you got it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't Maybe. think the monk can use one. No. The elf. The elf's got one already. The elf has. Uh, so give it, give uh, give it as a replacement. Give it back to the uh, barbarian. Sure. Long sword. Probably just sell it, but that's fine. Do you have, um, does the wizard have bracers? Nope. I can't. So you can sell the uh, plate mail and buy bracers. And the barbarian can sell and the uh, two of the swords, because they have the broadsword and a longsword, and that might be close to chain mail. So if yeah. the dwarf has a longsword, how is he standing? Well, we can, we can do. It's like up the back, I could shop. <laughs> That's where we the side. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, 
two of them, maybe he uses them as stilts as he runs down the hall. No. I'm sure there's some kids that thought of some clever tricks. Okay. All right, so where does that leave us? Um, heroes. Uh, enter inside the room and search for traps. traps barbarian treasure all right searching for treasure yeah inside the chest you find 500 gold coins so you've just become 500 gold coins richer you were at zero before you've also found a fine set of bracers Oh. Well, uh, if I'm standing next to the wizard, just give the wizard the bracers. All right. We solved the problem. There, you there go. it is. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, so wizard, now you defend with four. If you put those on with your cloak as well. And not only that, but you also found yourself a couple of smoke bombs. Let's see if I have the... I had the tile for it. Well, first let me explain to you how they work. So, smoke... There's two smoke bombs. And what it does is it means a monster... It, it's kind of a weird... Like, you know how Veil of Mist allows you to pass through squares occupied by monsters? With mm -hmm. smoke, the smoke bomb, it means that monster can be passed through by any good guys. But the thing I'm forgetting is how long does it last? Let me just see here. Uh, use this item anytime during your movement. A thick cloud of colored smoke envelops any one monster adjacent to you. Okay, it has to be adjacent. Till the monster's next turn, all heroes move unseen through the monster's space. Once used, the smoke bomb is lost. Okay, okay. and it, it's used during movement. Yeah. So I guess it's like you just start to pass through him. Well, no, I guess... Yeah, so. okay. Well, you have to be adjacent, so I guess you could be running past him. It's kind of weird, but... Yeah. It's like you throw it in his face. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it's worth 100 gold coins. Like Chong Lee throwing the powder and... Oh, yeah. Dukes' uh, Dukes's eyes. <laughs> the Smarties. <laughs> yeah, like, no! You crush up the little pill out of your belt as you're running up to him and throw it in there. Thankfully, he had some training with the blindfold on, so... <laughs> That's right. Didn't stop him for long. Um, Classic. I guess I'll start my movement towards the stairs. Okay. I guess I get 12, don't I? Yep. <laughs> Never mind on that roll then. Say, it's fun to roll dice. It is. Can we search for secret doors here? Eight, nine. Okay, so are you going out into the water? 11, 12. Yeah, sure. Not scared. All right, roll your safety roll. Okay, all good. Yep. All right. Now on your next turn, you're gonna have to roll again because you're ending up in the water. Yeah. I'm that's back. Fine. Phone died an hour ago. Hope I didn't miss much. <laughs> oh, Mordecai, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to catch it on the replay. Uh, yeah. You you, uh, you missed uh, Zargon's finest getting absolutely steamrolled by these guys. I mean, they are heroes, but this is only their second quest. <laughs> I guess... Uh, the last group of monsters didn't even get an attack. That was yeah. crazy. Yeah. With a little help from the, from the stream, of course, but uh, those are the breaks. Okay. Sometimes the, you know, the scales tip towards order away from chaos. And, uh, what can you do? Okay. All right, so after the Barbarian, we've got the Dwarf. 
Definitely will. Oh, wow. Good to have you, Wordicon. Um, don't the worry, dwarf lots, will lots of equipment search for with, secret doors. I was going to say, don't worry, though, Wordicon. Lots of equipment was purchased while you were gone. So. <laughs> okay, so Dwarf is searching for secret doors? Yes. All right. Somebody's got to keep that equipment going. I love it. Okay, uh, no secret doors detected. Uh, I will move to... Eight, ten spaces to the secret door tile. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Um, the, the monk will move onto the secret door tile right in front of the dwarf. cash in there. Threat card for Zargon. I like it. <laughs> yeah. I don't like it. Oh, that was timed pretty well to land on your turn. So. Yeah, it yeah, after the so was the monk gonna do an action? Or, or no? Uh no. It, this is used up. Oh actually I could. Actually, hold on. Um He's gonna use that water and split his thing. So he he's gonna actually move and then when he was in that um room with the Weapons rack was going to search for equipment and then continue to move and land where he landed. Okay. A hammer! It's two dice. And yes, he can use it if he wants to. And then it's through a uh, wall. Okay. Um, and yeah, then he'll finish his movement and land next to the dwarf. Okay. Now with that cash in, uh, we're going to say... I know, I could have used it like the instant I got it. It seemed a little cheesy. Uh, creeping Darkness again. So. For the next next round. And uh, a bonus monster. Interesting. So. We go back to the room with the sorcerer's table. Now, you remember what, what the wizard was reading in those notes. But... Uh, there was a little, there was some fine print, you know, he, he kind of missed it in the candlelight, which said <laughs> there was uh, a time delay <laughs> after the air spell. And so this time the statue does finally crumble and the long awaited gargoyle bursts forth. He was supposed to be triggered the instant you opened the door, but that's, that's what happens. Okay. All right, back to the heroes. I, I see cleaning the grout from the dungeon walls. <laughs> okay. Eight. Um, oh, oh, I'm going uh, close to the uh, to the left side of the uh, the monk, if I can. One, two, three. Four, five, six, One, two, three. Four, one, uh, and to the left side of the the, uh, the dwarf. Okay. Actually, behind, uh, one step behind the dwarf. Okay. 
Man, and that's it. That's my turn. Alright. Barbarian, roll your safety roll. Nope. Oh, we good thing it was a small roll. Dragged one square back. Ah. So the statue burst open? Yes, it did. Good. I'm gonna head towards that guy. It was pulling you in that direction anyway. Five. Okay. Put me in there next to him. One, two, three. And we're gonna swing the bastard sword at him this time. Ah. So one black, two white. Skulls. Nothing. Wow. Awesome. Two hits. He must have been weakened by the uh, fact that he was in there too long. Or she, if it's a female gargoyle. I haven't determined that yet. So that is a five dice, three percent chance that you rolled that. <laughs> You're the expert. I got a table that oh. shows it all. It's like uh, if I tried to explain it, it would just be uh, Scott Steiner coming up, going, you know, thirty-three and a third chance. Samoa Joe knows. <laughs> you ever looked that one up? It's pretty funny. Scott Steiner versus the English language. <laughs> okay. All right. What's next? Uh, dwarf got a four. Hmm. Hmm. So I see. All right. So he can move just north of the barbarian. Could diagonal oh, attack wait. through the door. Oh yeah, yeah, I can do that. Hold on, let me roll to make sure I don't fall in. Yeah, you got enough weapons. Something is gonna hit him. Seven. All right, I didn't fall in. Uh, yes, I can use the long sword. Try that weapon out. I'm going to use this card, um, Chaos Energy. The monster's wounds begin to heal. And I get one body point back. For all the good it'll do. <laughs> For all the evil that it'll do. Okay. Cha-ching! Aha! And block both of them. No damage. Stony skin. All right, the monk out of five. Two, three, four, five. As it gets north of the gargoyle. Or wait. Uh, one, two, three, four, maybe two north of the barbarian, and I'll just use the longbow. Three, four, five, right here. You gotta, you gotta do your water roll. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. uh, yeah, let me, all right, let me do that. Ten, good. No doubles. Nice. No whammies. Okay, so you're going to try to attack? Yes. All right, I'm going to play this card. Whoa, that's bright. Play this card. Cover. Intimate knowledge of the dungeon allows you to slip into nooks and crannies and avoid missile fire. All missiles fired by heroes this turn automatically miss. Aw. All right, so he dodges behind the <laughs> sorcerer's table. Are you just printing these out on the fly? It's like that was hear, awful you, specific. You, you, hear a, you hear a printer going. It's like, wait yeah. a second. <laughs> like the camera slips. You see it like, yeah. It's like, hey, wait a minute. Yeah, you've know. been printing and laminating the whole day, the whole game. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's why I'm so distracted. I'm just like, what, wait, wait, what, what are you saying? And it's like, oh, it's so bright. Oh, that's because the uh, laminate's still uh, warm. Yeah, it's still. <laughs> gotta let that stuff. Uh... I can hear you. My printer is too loud. <laughs> <laughs> what a cheat! <laughs> big uh, YouTube scandal. Our Twitch scandal. Okay, <laughs> Xerxes says a nurse orc came to the rescue with a bandaid. <laughs> Smork. Use arrow of stone piercing. <laughs> All right. Okay. So yeah. After that, um, is it my? Because well, that stupid darkness. So I couldn't do nothing else. I'm like, all right, let me use a yeah. weapon. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Speaking of that, that is now gone. Yep. And it's my turn again. Okay. Hmm. What's the gargoyle gonna do? What's he gonna do? Where is he gonna run? Three. I guess it makes more sense to attack the monk. One, two. And attack the monk. Two skulls. and a hit all right um use wellspring all right so he uh deflects the damage turning it to nothing Okay, I guess uh, that's going to be it for monster stuff. Heroes. I'm going to pull the classic uh, jerk move of the wizard and uh, use pass through rock. Ah. <laughs> And get out of the dungeon. They don't need me. <laughs> <laughs> he looks both ways to make sure nobody's looking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're just gonna go straight over there. Yes, we pass through rocks so I avoid the avoid the drain. Water. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so let me just make sure you didn't pass through a room I was supposed to tell you about. Nope, it was just solid rock. And yep. you're exiting the quest? I can wait, but I don't think there is going to just... Uh, yeah, you might as well exit. No problem. You could put, yes. put a boss through on a stairs. To save my last hit point. <laughs> All right. Wizard has escaped. Congratulations. <clears throat> right. Quest complete. All right. Okay. Next hero, Barbarian. Ninja, vanish! <laughs> All right, a wrestling move. Good sure job. Enough. Sure enough. All right, and a skull. Uh, let me just roll to see if I get anything in response. Yeah. 
I would have blocked, blocked one. one. But <laughs> shall I draw a card for you, or do you have something special in mind? I didn't. I was thinking about fainting and re-rolling the attack. Oh, you still could. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah, Ugh, like you guys come on. Have all these cards. Reroll one set of dice. Yeah. Okay. So one. Not not any better. Okay, now you don't get the wrestling move. Right. Oh. oh well. I was hoping for a. You didn't buy the four paper. banger. You didn't buy the pay per view, so. Except to wait for the to come out on VHS. All right. Are you going to do anything else? No. Okay. All right, Dwarf I, got a nine. I rolled a nine, so I didn't fall in the drain. Fall in the drain. Uh, uh, let me roll for movement to see which weapon I'll be using. I guess I'll go to the right of the gargoyle and go with the battle axe. All right. Four dice. And I want to do mighty blow and double it. Dang. Okay. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah, it's like you start to get so many cards, it's like, okay, time to use them. Right. So multiply by two, the final dice result. So six. Yep, six. Wow. Yep. You got to defend all five, and then you're still alive at one body point. No! <laughs> Crushed. Nothing but a pile of pebbles. Okay. Turn it on. Uh, yeah, and the monk is gonna head to the stairs. He'll uh, stand on the space between the stairs and the doorway. And we roll for the drain. Three. Oh, and he regains his uh, blue back. Yep. Water yep. technique. Safe. All right, no Safe. doubles. Safe. All right, and he rolled. Uh... I oh, I, yeah, I rolled roll. just to be safe. Yeah. I think originally I was like letting people use that same role as their movement, but it, I guess it's probably what they intended was the second role. And yeah. That's the ticket. I mean, I guess you wouldn't. You could just move 12 if you wanted, because the monsters are gone now. Well, yeah, well, that's why I said where I wanted to go, and then I rolled to see if I f fell in the drain when I walked through the door. Oh, okay. That way you stand in between the stairs and the doorway. Waiting for the uh, the other two heroes, and he's dry. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna just gonna be right there. Yep. Okay, got it. All Meditating right. and waiting. Not the threat card. Zargon is threat card. card. <laughs> ah. Get that 
have to consult this here. Ambush. As you are walking, a monster stalks you and attacks. So the wandering monster of this quest is an abomination. Apparently tracked you. <laughs> ha ha! And attacks through the doorway. One skull. Monk. Thank you, Ordicon. Bring on the slap. Ended. Ching. One skull. Or one shield. Yep. Same roll you got. He just one like he just like he wasn't even looking. He just like puts his arm up and just like blocks it. You have much to learn. Okay. Well. Let's see here. Frenzy. The monster attacking you howls in a mad frenzy, and I get to attack again. Ah, but I missed. <laughs> ah, he was so flustered by the fact that the first one got blocked that it just didn't matter. All right. Heroes. My guy's an MMA fighter, so he's going to try to defend, but not wrestle. The wizard, <laughs> the wizard go to the nearest tavern. <laughs> yep. It's like I a order <laughs> four he's grog. He's telling the tale. Four ogre grog for the party. So there I was. <laughs> a man alone. <laughs> yep. Oh, they'll be along. I, I, uh, I think they'll be okay. <laughs> Excellent. He's tired and, and uh, thirsty after saving us all. <laughs> yep. All right. Barbarian. Okay. Um, I guess I should mark it somehow so that it, you know he's finished. We're going to move our five. Towards the abomination. And then I'll roll for my. For your water bill. There. How much your water That's bill? That's good. <laughs> and. Is it on both utilities or just one? <laughs> you need to know. Yeah, it's water and sewer, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Um. We'll throw the bastard sword at him. There's only one more bill I gotta pay. That's the garbage bill. I'm taking you out. Okay, two skulls. Ching, and a hit. Uh, the dwarf moves uh, two spaces and uh, looks down the hallway at the barbarian and the abomination. <laughs> okay, so he has not entered the watery corridor yet? No, no, he's not touching the water. The monk is going to use uh, 
mountain strength. Mighty hand. All right. Okay, so four dice attack. <laughs> These monsters are as bad as stormtroopers, swinging a miss. Yeah, the only All right, good, one. The best stormtroopers we ever saw were the first ones. <laughs> And after that, it was all downhill. Okay, one skull. Uh, and he's going to use his rallying cry. Ah, okay. So inspires your comrades to victory from now until the end of the turn. Each hero may roll one extra attack and defense dice. Nice. Well, uh, I would think that would apply to you as well. Oh, right now? Or to the comrades. Okay. To each hero. I don't know. I guess it could be well, right either way. I'll let you roll one more die. I'll think about that. Well, one. well, if the barbarian doesn't kill him, then I'll roll the extra die on my next round. Okay. That's fair. One attack and one defend is what it says. All right. Maybe, maybe. No sit in them. He went to Stormtrooper Academy. Because <laughs> I wanted it more for the defense than the attack, but you know what I mean? So that's why I said I'd rather come around. Hey, Guns Grim. All right, so what's the abomination going to do? Well, that's not going to help me any. Um, I guess we'll attack the attack the monk again. Just keep on keep on trying. One skull, monk. <laughs> Mostly they come out at night. Mostly. Oh. All right. Uh, wellspring. One damage. Oh, he matrixed out of it again. Ching. All right. So now, I, now I got air and air left. Yep. Yeah, he's pretty pretty versatile. Okay. All right. Uh, so um. Bohemius Lightbringer is uh, having a good old time, <laughs> and uh, the I, I think uh, I'm going to to toss a coin to the wheel to the uh, to the bard for a song. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Don't spend all your money. Oh, well, oh, you already bought your bracers. Never mind. It's Send like you, you you get back and it's just like. <laughs> They they're throwing him out. <laughs> like his... <laughs> ah, sorry, I don't know what happened. It's burned a hole in my pocket. Darth Newt. Okay, <clears throat> barbarian. Great sword. Oh, great. Five dice. I want to cleave him in two. You get you get five dice. You get to roll one. Oh, that's right. right. Yeah. Four. I don't think I'm gonna make it, but just roll just for fun. Got him. Back into the muck. I thought you were just going to say back from the dead and flip another back card. Back from the dead. Back from the dead. Back from the dead. Yeah, I printed an entire deck of those cards. <laughs> and I'll move on to the stairs. Color, you use the red one. You use the white one. What color's next? Yeah. Oh, you know what? Te te technically, I should have checked my. Uh, oh yeah. The water roll first. Whoops. Okay, go go for it. <laughs> oh. So wait a minute. Okay, so he. So really, the abomination would be alive. Well, but. I mean, I, I, I still could have moved. You, yeah, you would have just moved forward, and then and did the same thing. Yeah. yeah. It didn't. If it had thrown you into the pit, that would have been a little more complicating. Yeah, I mean, I'd end up right where I am at. 
Only I don't have movement now. Okay, let's sit for my turn. <laughs> okay. Alright, the dwarf uh, moves to the stairs or the stair room and will go to the right of the monk and I roll for the water. All right, no doubles. No whammies. And he's going to search for treasure. In the stairs room? Yes. All right. Elven Cloak of Passage. It allows the elves right. to pass through walls without harm. I'll uh, I'll pass that to the elf when he gets to the stairs. <laughs> he's so sneaky, we don't even know where he's at right now. Yeah. Maybe he found his way to the tavern as well. It's like, hey, you're supposed to help us out, man. What happened? You, know, you forgot to say please. <laughs> Uh, the monk will also search for treasure. Okay. Poison! Your throat constricts as you taste it. Poison! Roll one combat oh, die. Oh, God! <laughs> if it lands on a skull, lose one mind point. And any other roll result, you're unharmed. Uh... He's going to take the mind point. He drank the whole thing. He was thirsty. <laughs> and then he steps onto the stairs into the tavern where he drinks some more poison. <laughs> I'm still going to make you roll. The okay. Good kind. <laughs> this grain alcohol, what is this? Grog, 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 yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Gulp. Says Xerxes. Yeah. See, I just, I just read him out of habit now. Okay. Uh, so he took one mind point. So he's at three. Yep, I called it. Three. It's just booze. He just drinks now some booze. He's, now he's drunk and he stumbles down the stairs. <laughs> oh, yeah. If the abbot ever finds out, he's going to be in big trouble. All right. As long as, as long as he don't drink two more and go into shock, he's fine. Yep. Okay, so he, he seriously uh, goes down the stairs? Yeah. Okay. Alright, the monk has escaped. And he uh, regains his other his techniques. Yeah, no monsters. So, he just in case he encounters any uh, traps or anything along the way to the bar. A contingent of monsters down the stairs or something. And that brings it back to your turn. Throwing out the funny. Some slapstick. That's right. It always happens. All right. Lost loot. Suddenly, spot a hole in your pocket. Okay, so the barbarian loses 50 gold. Oh. Pain. I was drinking he money. He had to print that one up real quick. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Always Does the barbarian money. have any gold? Yeah, 500 from the chest. Oh, oh yeah. That's so right. 450. He dropped it down the drain. That sucks. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's all right. You can still sell the broadsword and get chainmail. That's right. 
Oh, you didn't hear about the inflation that was hitting the uh, realm this time of year? <laughs> <laughs> Someone's yeah. been coin clipping. Yeah. The arm armors have gone on strike, so it's tough these days. All right. Okay. All right. Well, that's that's my turn. So. All right, I'm out of here. Petty, petty vengeance. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Get me on the stairs. Oh, I gotta roll my thing first. It's not just evil. He's passive aggressive too. Okay, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, le I'll leave the quest. All right. So you're safe. Barbarian has escaped. I'm not gonna bother. Just typing it for every everybody. Um, okay, that leaves the dwarf. Before. Now he can find the real treasure that he didn't tell anybody about. <laughs> uh, okay, the dwarf searches. What took you so treasure. long? What are you gonna do? Search for secret doors. Ah, okay. No secret doors. No, I didn't think so because the uh, the wizard already walked through the room. <laughs> Wait, barbarians have pockets? Yeah, you didn't know those furry diapers had uh, pockets? Penny loafers. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah, I like that, Ruby. Thanks. Yeah, he, he joins his uh, friends at the bar. All right, off he goes. Dun, 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 dun. Congratulations, you've completed the quest. And we've got 32 minutes left. You guys want to keep playing or call it a night? Was there any uh, rewards for the quest completion? Uh, you must go forth and find the stairway exit hidden in this dark labyrinth of underground waterways. And I have to tell you that uh, you can't visit any shops before the next quest. No. No. So I guess what was really happening is uh, the wizard was just uh, sipping a few elixirs out of his backpack there. <laughs> and uh, he... Uh, what? was whistling a tune in his own voice that the uh everything was an illusion it was an illusion <laughs> oh man no, the it says we're, so we're, we're not allowed to visit <laughs> any shops which probably i got a one off in a tavern and didn't make it well to any shops. probably uh, they, so if i if i get a, a grog from the shadow market it costs off and i have uh, to roll to see if i get a <laughs> if i lose a mind point <laughs> Well, well, and, and they, then you gotta roll. You gotta also roll to see if it was fake or not first. <laughs> yes. And they, they tease you so much because they give you like huge amounts of gold, and it's like, oh, well, you're just gonna have to. Oh, because it, you know? in this quest, we're supposed to find the like the secret, well, the uh, the safe rooms, right? Yes, the hideouts. You're looking for mm, hideouts. Okay. Well, um, should we forge ahead? Is it too late to throw down a bunch of mobs? Well, for this quest, yes, uh, we're going to be clearing the clearing the board. Good game, guys. So, do you want to do you want to start out the next one, or what do you want to do? Like I said, I'm good for another half hour. Five for me. Yeah, sure. If anybody sure. was waiting to jump in, now's your chance. Okay. I'm gonna go refill my coffee. Be right back. He's not kidding around. <laughs>